Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome back. Hopefully for the last time, remothered, tormented fathers. I mean, at least the last time until we have to play the sequel, broken horses. In the last video, we found out some crazy shit. I'm actually gonna try to talk about this while I make my way to the elevator because I did find an elevator crank at the end of the last video. I don't hear music, so we should be fine. We found out some insane shit about Mr. Felton, about this whole situation that we're in. Is it daylight outside? That looks like daylight. What? Something looks different. I don't know. But Mr. Felton's father forced him to, or I guess forced her because she was born as a woman, but Felton's father didn't want a girl. So he forced her to dress up as a man and to act like a man, pretend to be a man. And she ended up developing a split personality thinking that she was both Richard and Jennifer. And so when she eventually had a daughter of her own, she ended up forcing her daughter to name herself Jennifer so that she could have the life that she wanted. I think I'm still trying to pull. You really thought I'd let you go? No, no, not this time. Oh, we got her with the, um, the fucking, um, the motherfucking, uh, the shit that makes her go blind. She's got the John Cena disease now. Okay, off to a... Maybe I need to use this. What do I have? Do I have something for that? Syringe, elevator crank. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was told that we are now in the home stretch, so that's why I think that this should be the last episode of the series or of the game. And I'm hyped, I'm excited. Reach the attic, try to escape. We're already in the attic, what do you mean? All right, first things first. Well, first things first, we need to fucking hide. No, thank you. I'm going to I'm going to go about my day. Try to find my way out of here. I'm gonna mind my business, and I think you should too. I think that's best for both of us. Ooh, I don't like this. I do not like this. This game is one that you have to mentally prepare for. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, get her again! Wait, did she cut me too? Activate the device to open the windows. The switch doesn't work. Of course it doesn't. Identify and resolve the cause of the short circuit. You the same with the others. You burnt them all. Oh! No! Oh! Fucking bastard! Okay. Oh, did it close on me? You're joking. Bro, go! Fuck out of here. Pick that up. Pick that up. Uh, which way do I go? Not that way! Not that way! Ah, not that way! Okay. What's up with the bugs? I mean, I think she's the one that controls them, but like, why do they keep following me? 
I knew that. I knew something like that was gonna happen. We were all sisters. How could you? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead and I'm dead. Oh. I'm dead. So maybe if I try walking instead of running. That was my fatal mistake the last time. Can I grab this? No, never mind. I just wanted to grab the fucking screwdriver. I need a defense weapon. Oh, that was a defense weapon right there. Nope. All right. So it really doesn't matter if you run or not. Shoo, shoo, shoo. How did I get caught this time, but not the last time? Okay. She's not going to scare me this time because I'm expecting it. Just before we get to the end, like when we get past the second. Uh, yeah, right there. Somebody out there was counting on me to to tell them when the jump scare was going to be. Oh, okay, because she's blind. So if I run, we were all sisters. How could you? No! Bro, come on. This might be the most I've died so far playing this game. Hey, excuse me, what'd you call me? You wanna say that to my face? I mean, no, don't, don't do that. Okay, I got the defense weapon. I got the defense weapon. We about to do the damn thing now. And then she's gonna go, oh, yeah! See, I was ready for it. What happens if I just go back? She's not expecting me to turn around, right? Theoretically, she would have lost me. But she's babysitting now. Ah! Just snatch her weapon from her now while she's down. Bro, what the fuck? Stop! Stop it! You shouldn't know where I'm at! Wait, I killed Felton? Oh, no. He killed himself. You you killed him. I didn't do that. What the hell? I remember what she's talking about now. At first, I thought she was talking about, uh... Are you there? What the fuck? We were all sisters. How could you? you what am I supposed to do? Cause she babysits this room, so I can't. Is there somewhere else I can go? There's no way that this is a real mechanic. What the fuck am I supposed to do? There's no way that this is real. You're pathetic. You can't just kill me with... Are you there? You're 
Okay, so I got the chance to move it after after I froze her. But now what? Now what the fuck do I do? No, that's gonna kill me, that's gonna kill me, that's gonna kill me, that's gonna kill me. That's I I just ran myself into my own doom. I gotta Remember what I was saying about um about these kind of mechanics being not fun? We were all I can't see you, but I can't hear you. Just go, just go, squeeze through, squeeze through. Oh my god! So I guess the first thing I should have tried was to stun her. You kill the old man. How is your integrity? You're trapped in here. You can't escape. I'm trying to figure out what they want me to do, because nothing is making sense right now. That got rid of my eyes, my eyes. That got rid of the flies. You shouldn't. My head burns. My head burns. So we're back here now. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, run! Why is she not running? I'm holding shit. Oh. Fucking holding shift. I'm not going anywhere. I'm getting the hell up out of here. That's where I'm going. Oh, fuck. The least you can do is give me some light to follow so that I know where to go. Because I'm supposed to go back this way, right? Because this is the way that I came from. I think. I don't know anymore because I'm all kind of turned around. No jump scares. Okay. Doctor Reed. Oh my eye. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Burn, bitch. Burn. Kick her in the face! Punch her in the titty! Scratch her in the eyes! Slice you up, bitch! I 
need to see to know where you are hiding. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. I'm ready to push buttons. I could stress my arm out and choke you. I'm ready to push some buttons. I'm ready to push a button. I'm ready for it. I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! So th this is the end of the game. I was like really close. I should have just finished it in the last video. I genuinely, I think I should have just finished the game in the last video. So, you're still here. Not for long. I'm gonna call the police and get my ass up out of here. I should have never have come here. It's all my fault. Damn straight. It would have happened anyway. They didn't give a damn about the disease. They only used it to improve the binoxal. The moths were the final piece for the cure. And to show the world how much they were. They had noticed how moths were acting on Felton. After he caught the disease in Egypt in 58. The fuck was he doing out there? Oh, he deserved it. We were all test animals at the plantation. They used us. They made us believe we had been touched by the hand of God, giving us the disease as a sign. But then trouble came. The eyes burning. The bandage. What the fuck? Get up off the ground and leave! Oh my god! Just forget. Phenoxyl was created as an anti-psychotic drug for war veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. <sighs> to forget the horrors. As a father who ruined his daughter's life, forcing her to live as a man. Felton is just like all of us. He was a victim. He could only count on the results of the experiments of the plantation. When they withdrew the drug from the market because of its crazy side effects. Wyman, that fucking bastard. Synthesizing parasites and mixing them with the drug only showed him he could do better. That it was possible to modify and control memories. Our memories. But we were only able to control the moths and be sick. Very sick. And those damn memories will come up again sooner or later. Now I understand. Felton always tell the truth. He just wanted to protect Celeste from all of this. From himself. From his... Jennifer. The sessions were for her to just forget. Forget everything forever. And he was the one to push her to leave. And eventually, she did. She ran away. But I still have unanswered questions. So do I. A lot of them. So many. It's not too late. This is not your end yet. It may be the end of everything. And maybe we're already dead. And neither of us knows it. 
<laughs> I'm not the one who is crazy here. Maybe we both are. You could have been one of us. No, I couldn't have. Yes, you could have, sister. But I could never forget that day. All oh, the screams, the flames. How could you? You wanted to propagate it as a sign of God. This was not a gift. This was not from God. It was fucking stupid science. And those two things have never been compatible. We believed it. It's true. And we were wrong. But you left us there to die. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. I, I can't remember. It's all confusing enough. I, anyway, I don't... It's over now. No. I don't want to die rotting in hatred. I've hated all my life. I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter who you were, what we were. You are what you have become. Look at yourself. I am nothing like this. This is all just farce, discount store garbage. You know, now I remember when I was young and I would lie on the grass. Oh, I loved doing this. I would stay for hours staring at the emptiness. Now you can't stare at shit. Haha, <laughs> got him. Where I could go far away. And now all these memories hurt. Oh, that hurt so much. Why can't we just forget? Why? 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 Why do we have to remember? Because... That is how we save our memories from oblivion. She is still alive. You will find her. I know you will find her on top of the world. What? Is real. I hope he is made of this love. I hope you will both forgive me one day. I already have. Bad habit. By Steve Lacey. Look. <laughs> no, what is that? <laughs> I'm crying. Not because it's sad, but because I'm confused. Oh, it's a piano key. Hey, she kind of killing that shit. She only hit like three notes, but two hearts never lonely. Yeah, she only hit three notes, but that's three more notes than what I could play on a piano. What was in the bag? What did she find? A goodbye. A goodbye that spoke of hope. Hope? 
I forgot this is how we started the you game. You say that despite everything, she was not resigned to the idea of finding her. No. Not at all. <laughs> so to summarize everything that I know of as of playing this first game, let me turn this down. It's getting a little loud. To summarize what I know from this first game, okay? Starting with the easy bits, Mr. Felton was a young girl named Jennifer. She was born and was probably an only child. Based on like what I know from the game and what I know from the comments, she was an only child and around this time, people, families were scrutinized for having, for not having like a, a, a boy born in the family or whatever. And because of this scrutinization, Felton's father forced Jennifer to be a man. Made her dress like a man, made her act like a man, talk like a man. And so throughout her entire life, not knowing, having like this whole identity crisis, she then has a split personality disorder, causing her to be both Jennifer and Richard. She has a daughter of her own named Celeste. And Celeste gets like wrapped up in all this mess because there's like, from what I think is going on, there's like experiments with moths and hypnotization i'm pretty sure a lot of this is going to be explained in the sequel i'm just trying to theorize and give my thoughts on what i think is happening or what i think is going to happen right now before we get into the nitty-gritty of it all when this game was recommended to me uh i was playing at dead of night and i was told that mr felton was just as just as messed up in the head as jimmy was and I kind of like both of these stories at Dead of Night and Tormented Fathers because you meet these characters who are so absolutely messed up in the head. And you think, how could anybody ever possibly like a person like this? How could anybody ever possibly fight for them? But then as you play, you kind of start to realize that it's not their fault that they're like this. But murder is just not something that I can... <laughs> I could justify. I don't know. Did Felton kill his wife? Because when we started the game, there was the dead, rotting body in the bed. And then the body moved. I I don't know. I'm still confused on that part. I'm confused about the whole the whole experiments and the moths and why that was such a big deal. And it makes me want to play broken porcelain like right now. If there's any clarification that you can give me in the comments, I would very much appreciate that. Don't spoil anything that will happen in the second game, but just kind of, you know, give me some clarification that I may have missed or that I didn't touch up on. Good game, though. Story was fantastic. Game mechanics, however, I did not like the fight with... What, what's her name? She dressed up as the nun. She was the red nun. But she was somebody else before... We uh, locked ourselves in here. I don't know. I'm just going to call her the nun. But that, that last boss fight with the nun and I guess the whole section while well, we were in the sewers with the nun. That was ass too. Everything about the nun sucked. I guess not everything. Just the parts where we had to run from her. <sighs> Remother, Tormented Fathers. Remother, Tormented Fathers is now complete. This game was actually a lot shorter than I anticipated it was going to be. We only did four videos of this, I think. Yeah, we only did four videos of this. And that's that's crazy to think that this game was so short. I've said all I had to say about this game. Enjoyed it. Some sections could have been tweaked. I hope that they are tweaked in Broken Porcelain. I'm going to get to that as soon as possible. There's some other stuff on my plate that I want to get to before we get to that game. So if this is your first time watching and you're not subscribed or if you've been watching the series and aren't subscribed subscribe so that you know when i start playing broken porcelain 
if you want to see my last video, which will slay the spire, I'll have that link somewhere around here. We finally, finally completed the defect run. And if you want to see the full playlist of Remothered Tormented Fathers, I'm going to have that link somewhere around here as well. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out.